Fridays, 10 a.m., we pray for the orphan and fatherless. This morning, praying out of 2 Thessalonians 3 and Matthew 9. Pray for us that the word of the Lord may run swiftly and be glorified, just as it is with you. The Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. May the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patience of Christ. Matthew 9, 37. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest fields. Father, we come before your throne this morning. We stand before you as your children. Lord, we ask that you would anoint us this morning to stand and agree with your judgments, your justice for the earth. Lord, we are asking again this morning that you would strengthen us to know your heart as we agree with you and ask that you would release your kingdom, that you would release your will on the earth just as it is in heaven for orphans and vulnerable children. This morning, we are asking you for strength. We are asking you again for an anointing to believe, Lord, your word that you have plans and purposes in your heart for every child. Lord, we remember this morning before you 160 million orphan children throughout this earth Lord, a population the size of Russia. Lord, we fix our eyes on this people group this morning, and we ask that you would fill our hearts with the zeal of the Lord for the children in this hour. Lord, fill our hearts with the promises in your heart for these children to know you, your zeal to remove every barrier from every one of these children that they would call on the name of Abba. This morning, God, we ask that you would let the word of the Lord run swiftly and be, be glorified amongst the fatherless and amongst the orphan in the earth. Lord, that you would release your word over them, that you would shout over this nation of people that you are a good, good father, that you would never abandon your children. Lord, we are asking from our inner cities to the ends of the earth that you would release a banner of love over the fatherless. Release your word. Let it run swiftly and be glorified. And Lord, we ask, we pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest that you would release your laborers. God, how can they believe in you of him who they have not yet heard? We are asking that you would release laborers into this harvest field to demonstrate and proclaim the name of the Lord. God, we are asking for your anointing, your Isaiah 61 anointing, the anointing of the sovereign Lord to rest on laborers, to bind up broken hearts, to preach the good news, to deliver the captives. Lord, from this nation and every nation of the earth, would you raise up your laborers who will gather the children to your house? Lord, this morning we are asking for a mighty move of your spirit. Lord, we thank you that you remember each child by name, that you are calling them forth out of destruction, out of darkness, into your light and into your family. Father, would you release the word of the Lord to run swiftly and gather your children in the name of Jesus. and every lie. Breaking with lies. Release the truth that the Lord loves them. Today. Oh, tear that down you hear them. Tear down you have, you know every name. Release the truth in the name of Jesus. You are kind. In the name of Jesus. You are faithful. And God is a father and God you is love. You will establish and guard them. them. From 
cross the path of justice. Lord, we ask that it would grow brighter and brighter until that day, Lord, where we stand before you and you will release it in fullness. Do today in part what you will do when you come again to the earth. Release the spirit and power of Elijah. Turn hearts of fathers to children in this city in Jesus' name. anointing we ask for strength 